Hey guys, it's Shanta and welcome back to my channel. Now today's recipe is a tribute to my late mother-in-law. This was something that my husband introduced me to when I married him and it's something that we've obviously continued making when we have family and friends come around because honestly it is the best dish ever. It is my version of her recipe which is tandoori chicken cooked with potatoes. Now imagine having a tray bake brought to the table with a layer of potatoes right at the bottom and then tandoori chicken pieces actually being cooked on top so all that juice that flavor from the marinade penetrates those potatoes it is honestly the best thing ever and my kids love this he obviously loved this and i love it too now as well so i'm thrilled to be sharing this recipe and it's an honor and privilege to be sharing my late mother-in-law's recipe so let's run through what you need to make tandoori roast chicken with potatoes my style let's run through the ingredients quickly and then we'll start cooking so the ingredients you're going to need are six pieces of chicken on the bone which um, are skin off and I've actually scored them as well now to get six pieces of chicken basically what I've done is I've asked my butcher to first of all take one whole chicken on the bone skin off and cut it into four pieces and then I actually added one breast piece and a thigh piece as well to give me six pieces here. Now here I've got one and a half kgs which is 1.5 kgs of red potatoes which I have peeled and I've sliced and I've basically sliced them like that in circles and they are quite thick you don't want them too thin otherwise they'll um, cook too quickly and you also need four tablespoons of oil I've got the juice of two limes here and I've got one cup of natural Greek yogurt which equates to roughly 250 grams and I have one teaspoon of the following spices I've got salt chili powder coriander powder garam masala and degi mirch which is Kashmiri chili powder it adds a really nice flavor but not the heat then I have half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and dried chili flakes here and I've got one fourth of a teaspoon of red food coloring and orange food coloring this is optional but I do recommend adding this in because it will give the chicken pieces a really nice deep orangey tandoori color and I have one whole heaped tablespoon of blitz green chilies the same of garlic puree here and the same of ginger puree and you also need a roasting tin which is large enough to accommodate your potatoes and your chicken pieces so let's start cooking right okay so first of all we're going to prepare our marinade for the chicken and for that we're going to take a large bowl and we're going to go straight in with the yogurt and then the lime juice then we're going to take our oil and we're going to take four tablespoons of this so one two three four and then the green chilies go straight in as does the garlic and the ginger and then I'm going to throw in all of the spices straight in like that and we're going to give this a mix and make sure everything is well combined and that looks wonderful and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some disposable gloves and just pop them on so it just stops my hands from getting stained from that lovely orangey red colour and I'm just going to move this out of the way I'm going to take the chicken pieces and I'm going to dip them in and make sure that marinade just goes everywhere on all those little gashes that we've made in between the meat here and just cover it completely now what we're going to do is once it's nicely marinated and all those pieces are nicely coated with this wonderful marinade what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it aside for two hours at room temperature because my chicken has been in the fridge so it needs to come back down to room temperature and I'm just going to cover it with cling film and just let it sort of like sit in the kitchen 
for two hours until we're ready to put it into the oven. Now you can do this beforehand, you can do it the night before. Again, the flavors will just penetrate even more and it will be even better. Uh, but minimum two hours is required for the marination to sort of like work its magic. Perfect, so just cover this with cling film and I'll see you guys back in about two hours time. Right, okay guys, so my chicken has had two hours of marination. Now I've just preheated my oven to 200 degrees C, which is a fan assisted oven. If you're using an electric oven, it's 220. And if you're using gas, then it's gas mark six to seven, depending on your oven. Now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna layer our potatoes into our tin here, our roasting tray and just pop them to make a nice even layer. And just overlap them as well. Now you can sort of like add less potatoes if you wish, but I guarantee you by the time this is cooked, the potatoes are just so, so yummy. You'll want to add sort of like more potatoes in. <laughs> Oh, that's my oven, that's ready. So I'm just gonna pop these in. Perfect. And now I've just got myself a disposable glove and we're just gonna take our chicken, make sure you dip it in that lovely tandoori masala and we're just gonna add it straight over our potatoes like that. Aroma from that tandoori masala that I've just made, oh smells so good smell the ginger garlic in there wonderful now just a word of advice if you are wanting to serve this to kids uh, you might want to reduce the chilies because this is sort of like mild to medium so um, leave out the um, the blitz green chilies if you wish because you don't want it to be too spicy for the kiddies Make sure you get all of that masala there we are and I'm going to take this remaining masala, I'm just going to add it all over and never waste any of this because this is just too good to throw away. Make sure that chicken is covered because what's going to happen is when it cooks, the juices and the flavours from this marinade that we've added is going to penetrate those potatoes underneath and that's what's going to give you the best potatoes ever. There we are. Perfect. Just take that off, pop that to the side. And now what we want to do is we want to take some foil. And I'm just going to cover it quite tightly because we want this to steam and cook at the same time, like that. And I'm going to pop it into the oven, bang in the middle and let that cook away for 60 minutes at 200 degrees C and I will be keeping an eye on it so I will check it within the half um, through the halfway mark which is 30 minutes but 60 minutes in the oven and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. So guys the chicken and the potatoes have had 60 minutes of cooking time and I'm just going to take them out and tell you what to do next. Okay, so um, they look fantastic. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to pop these back into the oven for a further 15 to 20 minutes just so it cooks off the, the top here, the masala that we've added. Now, the, the natural sort of like juices that uh, came out from the chicken and the uh, the marinade that we added. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a pan here and I'm gonna strain them off because there's quite a lot of water left in there. You don't want too much. So you can see. I'm gonna leave a little bit in there, not too much, just a little bit and just pop that to the side. And, oh, is it hot? Yes, it is. Oops. <laughs> and I'm just going to check to see whether the potatoes are done. Yeah, they're really nice and soft and slight, slight, um, you know, they need slight, 
they need cooking slightly that's what i'm trying to say so the remaining 15 20 minutes inside the oven should do the trick we are not putting the foil on when we're going to pop them in now so straight in again just let them cook off and i'll see you guys back in about 20 minutes time guys the um the the stock the juice whatever you want to call it that i strained it off you can use this to make um, a sort of like gravy stroke sauce if you want. All you need to do is just to add a cornflour slurry to this and just pop it onto the heat and just thicken it up and then taste it to see if it needs any more seasoning. Uh, add seasoning according to your personal preference, salt and pepper, and you've got a great sort of like gravy sauce there, um, which I will be doing as well. Don't throw this away, use it. Right, okay guys, so it's been 20 minutes that the chicken has been cooking away now. I'm just gonna turn my hob off. And the moment of truth. Ooh. That looks amazing. Look at that. How wonderful does that look? So I'm just gonna go in with a knife. That chicken is cooked to perfection. Perfect. I'm, I'm just checking the um, the bigger pieces, which are the thighs and the potatoes. Sorry, I should just check them as well now. Perfect. They're all super, super soft and yeah, they're fully cooked. Right. Just to finish off, I'm just going to move it forward a little bit. Oh my God, it's hot. <laughs> um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some fresh coriander and just pop that just over like that, just to give it a pop of colour against that bright red orange there wonderful this is optional but it just looks really really nice look at that look at how pretty it looks so there you have it guys my tandoori roast chicken layered on top of potatoes is ready i'm gonna tuck into this when it cools down slightly and tell you guys exactly how it is right guys how gorgeous does this look i'm just gonna pop this down and i'm gonna tuck right in now because it just smells phenomenal. Right, okay, here goes, moment of truth. I'm gonna, oh, get some potato there as well. Get a plate here. Just move that out of the way. And what I did with the, um, the juices that we um, retained, I've actually made um, a sauce, a little gravy out of the original juices. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that over the top as well. Oh, this is so, so good. It looks beautiful. Look at that. I'm just gonna get myself a fork and I should have thought of that before. But won't you just look at that? Just look at the gorgeous colour, first of all. It's just, oh, beautiful. Right, okay. Oh, it's starting to salivate. <laughs> right, let's try this. Okay, okay, okay. Let's... Mm. That is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Don't take my word for it. Do try it out. That gravy that we've just made with that sauce is fantastic. Oh, wow. Mmm. And now for the shipping. Gonna use my hands. Super soft. Super soft. Ooh. You know what? Oh, I'm gonna get off camera as soon as possible now and just enjoy this because this is absolutely delicious. All the flavors are coming through from that chicken. The marinade that we added, oh my God, that is delicious. I'm gonna, I do apologize, but that is worth it. Guys, please try the recipe out. What's not to love about this? It is slightly on the, uh, the hotter side, like I mentioned, it is medium heat. But if you're serving it to kids, like I mentioned earlier, leave out the blitz green chilies and you'll be perfectly fine. Leaving you with this one, I hope you've enjoyed the recipe. Do try it, make it, share it and eat it and enjoy it with your loved ones. Let me know in the comments below how you find it. And if you've liked it, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done.
already and turn your bell notifications on because without that you're never going to miss another video ever again. I'll catch you next week with another one. Till then take care and happy eating.